Americans have had a century-long love affair with AM radio, but some new electric vehicles, listen to this, no longer have it. Oh, man, can you believe it? So CBS News Miami's Chris Van Cleve has more on the efforts to keep the airwaves coming in loud and clear through car radios. As you approach the McCluggage Bridge... For nearly 100 years, WMBD has been covering and talking about the news in central Illinois from 1470 on the AM dial. But not anymore for drivers of a number of new electric vehicles. A host of automakers have pulled AM radio tuners from their cars, saying the EV batteries can interfere with reception. They've been around a long time. Greg Batten is the Greg in the Dan and Greg show, heard mornings on WMBD for nearly 20 years. I'm not worried that we can't adapt to those changes. But it doesn't help when you yank away a few million radios and say, well, those folks can't listen to you ever. During a hearing on Capitol Hill this month, first responders argued AM radio serves as the backbone of the nation's emergency alert system. When disaster strikes, no one should lose access to this essential information because the vehicle being driven does not have AM radio. This has been something that Scott Schmidt from the Trade Association representing automakers told Congress the vast majority of cars still have AM radio and the decision to pull it from some EVs was not made lightly. Our members view um, that there are more options for delivering content and alerts now in vehicles than there ever were. But that drive to tune out AM radio is prompting unusual bipartisan agreement between the very liberal Senator Ed Markey and the very conservative Senator Ted Cruz. They are now co-sponsoring a bill to require AM radio stay in vehicles. While automakers call the proposed legislation distinctly non-essential, Ford reversed course, dropping plans to remove AM radio from all its new vehicles and will return it to all 2023 EVs in the coming weeks. Ford's Donna Dixon is the lead engineer for the electric Mustang Mach-E. We talked and listened to our customers. Just the customers telling us, hey, there's some emergency broadcast frequencies that still aren't available. Why take it out at all? It seems like it's not broke, don't fix it kind of problem. And we'll continue to watch it as we go forward to make sure that it's available. Mach-E owner Keith Rice is glad to hear it's staying. I just think there's too many things on AM radio that people still use. WMBD. Something that's never far from Greg Batten's mind whenever that on-air light turns red. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Peoria, Illinois.